Hey guys, Raymaster Flex here, and the night that Jen D'Anville Nightheart tragically passed away earlier today, just on Monday Night Raw, I could not help but make this video. Dean Ambrose has made his return. First of all, before I even start talking about Dean Ambrose, I would just like to say rest in peace to one of the greatest of all time, Jen D'Anville Nightheart. A part of the Howard Foundation. It really hurts to know now that every member of the Hart Foundation, with the exception of Brett the Hitman Hart, has all died. Um, first, it all started with Brian Pillman. He passed away in 1997. Then Owen Hart in 1999 after a tragic fall. Then uh, Davy Boy Smith in 2002. And now, after nearly a decade later, Jim Neanville Nightheart has passed away. So first and foremost, I want to give my condolences to him because he's one. He was one of the um, greatest of all time. Uh, really put Brett on the map with the Heart Foundation. But from that, we also had another thing to happen tonight, and it was on Monday Night Raw. Dean Ambrose, at the end of the night, made a shocking return. A man who had been gone for over nine months. The last time we had seen Dean Ambrose goes all the way back to about December on the episode of Raw when he got injured and tore a part of his arm. I don't remember what part it was, but it, it nearly seemed like he was going to be gone forever. And I had seen the rumors, and I had seen many people posting and saying, that, oh, you know, Dean is probably going to show up. You know, he's scheduled to, to show up either after SummerSlam or before SummerSlam. And when I watched Raw tonight, the moment that I heard Seth Rollins mention about the moment that I seen them mention how the contract signing, how the contract said that Seth could have someone at his corner, that already gave me a hint that Dean Ambrose was going to possibly come out. But then, but then when Seth came out and said that, um, when Seth came out and said that, uh, it wasn't it wasn't him. That was having a delay of showing up to the show. That's when I knew that Dean Ambrose was going to come out. And let me just say, Dean Ambrose looks more vicious and more and more different than ever. With the haircut that he has, it makes him look a lot more lunatic with his character. So it's going to be interesting to see if they actually pick up on that or if they're going to have him do like the same stuff he was doing last year. A lot of people were saying that he should turn heel. But... I mean, to see his return after nearly nine months of being out of action is just absolutely amazing. I mean, Seth Rollins, I mean, gosh, I said Rollins. Dean Ambrose has been, seems like he's been gone forever. Uh, last time he was seen was doing a six-man tag team match. I believe it was The Shield versus Samoa Joe and uh, Cesaro and Sheamus. I believe it was them two because this is before they got moved to SmackDown Live. And no, Dean Ambrose, really huge really shocked the heck out of me really didn't expect it for him to come out i thought they were going to wait until SummerSlam for him to actually return because it would have been a much bigger pop i mean the pop was big from where they was at it was a huge pop for them to get from where they was at it was a big pop for uh the crowd to see dean ambrose come at the end of the show but man that really shocked the mess out of me because i mean we're talking about a man here who who's been gone for so long and I never I haven't forgotten him since he's been gone. I've been wondering when he was gonna come back and it seemed like his injury was over past due because um at one point they were saying that his injury wasn't the surgery wasn't going too well and it nearly it was nearly gonna seem like the man was gonna have to retire. But the fact that um he was able to come back and like I said he was with that haircut he got man looks a lot more vicious a lot more uh like into his character now like he really looked kind of scary when he came out tonight on monday night raw to end off the show and i really could not help but make this video because i'm interested to see what's going to happen to SummerSlam, especially with dean being out as long as he has i mean it it just seems like the man's been gone for so long i mean they said like I said, the man's been gone since about SummerSlam. I mean, since for nine months. Uh, but my goodness, he, he has just been, 
he's been gone for a while, and it's nice to see him back. I think that haircut really does make him look a lot more vicious. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with him at SummerSlam when Seth faces Dolph Ziggler for the IC title. Oh, man, I am just stunned with a crazy episode of Raw as it was with a lot of things that happened. Some stuff not for the better, but the most of the show, for the most part, was decent. And to end off the show, they couldn't have ended it any better way than having Dean Ambrose make his return. We have been waiting for Dean Ambrose to return for quite some time now. And like I said, I think they could have waited for SummerSlam to do it. Because even though the crowd was high here, I think if they were in Brooklyn, even though the Brooklyn crowd is kind of like iffy, like they kind of, they're kind of like all over the place. Like that they're, they, they might cheer who they don't normally cheer. They might boo who they don't normally boo. Or it's, or it's just like a mixed reaction type thing. Or some people get cheers and boos, like some people. But, um, man, I mean, that just shot the heck out of me. I mean, Dean Ambrose had been in surgery for quite some time, got out of it, you know, heard that he was going to come back soon, was wondering when he was going to come back soon. And uh, now he's back, you know, former Air Cono champion former United States champion, a former tag team champion in two occasions uh, with Seth Rollins, became actually a grand, uh, a triple crown, or was grand slam champion uh, last year when he won the tag team titles with Seth Rollins from Cesaro and Sheamus. He became a grand slam champion because he's held every title currently in the, in the, in the business. Again, I believe that's how the grand slam works. Yeah, he, he he was the first he was the first man in the shield to be a Grand Slam champion. And after he did it, then they had um Roman do it. And then after Roman did it, then they had Seth do it at WrestleMania. Because when Roman won the IC title, he was officially a Grand Slam. So Dean, but the thing was, Dean was the first to do it, though. Dean was the first to do it. He was the first to become a Grand Slam, because he did at SummerSlam. What, what I find it funny is when he actually became a Grand Slam champion, it wasn't even really mentioned. But as soon as Roman did it, as soon as Seth did it, especially when Roman did it, they mentioned they were so quick to mention it. But he's the first member of the Shield to actually become a Grand Slam champion. Dean Ambrose last year at SummerSlam. Uh, who can ever get that feminist moment with Cesaro kicked the beach ball and actually ripped it up from the crowd. Um, that night, Dean became a Grand Slam champion. So like I said, this man has won the tag titles. Um, he's won the tag titles with Seth. Uh, and on one occasion, actually, I don't really know why I'm saying two occasions, for the United States champion, Channel, former WWE champion on SmackDown Live, so it's nice to see him back, um, back in the hunt. It's going to be really interesting to see what they can do with this man, you know, that things that nature. I've been waiting on quite a while to do another big wrestling video since the last one I did with Randy Orton attacking Jeff Hardy on SmackDown Live, but uh, I could not help but do this video because two major things happened today. First, Jenny Anvil Nightheart passed away. And like I said, rest in peace. My condolences go out to him and his family, especially Natalia, his daughter, who I know is suffering right now, who did not show up on Raw due to the death of her father. So that is really tough to hear, especially with the man passing at 63. So I hope that they find out uh, the cause of his death soon because I'm pretty sure that he didn't just die of natural causes. I would never see anybody 63 just passing away of natural causes. Was, I would really have to see it. And for the most part, being something actually happening. So it was really tough hearing that this morning when I found that out. But from there, you get that to Dean Ambrose returning on the same exact night. So two major things happened. I nearly thought on the promo of Roman Reigns that he was good. They were going to set it up well. Obviously, they weren't going to have Roman Reigns side with Paul Heyman, but the way they did it, they tried to, they kind of tried to make it seem like Paul was going to try to like get Roman aside with him and turn against Brock, but it was all a plan for Brock 
to come out for the spray. Rovers were about to come out and attack him. I mean, it is what it is. But this Dean Ambrose thing, you know, I was very glad to see it because uh, I, I really – he, the funny thing is, he was mentioned on Raw um, last week when Seth was in that handicap match against against um, against Drew Adolph. They were like, we know one person who Seth won't pick as his tag team partner, and that's Dean Ambrose. So, I mean, when he came out, he looked kind of loose. You know, he looked, like I said, a lot different with that haircut. Um it was funny because it's funny because the fact that at this point I believe he's actually married to uh, Renee Young, and the fact that you know the way she makes it is not like she makes it obvious, even though they kind of did it last year when they were together, or whatever. Not so obvious in the, in the commentating when he came out, but he looked kind of loose, you know. He looked, like I said, a lot different. I, I think the haircut really makes it look more intimidating. I really think the haircut that he has right now makes him look a lot more intimidating, especially for him to return the way he looks. I mean, wow, like he looked intimidating, hands down, in my opinion, if, for that matter. He looked really intimidating. So I I cannot wait to see uh, what this man is going to do with SummerSlam. And he, he came back just in time, too. I mean, he really came back just in time. Even though he's not going to actually have a match, just for him to even be on the show is, is something huge because – um, Dean Ambrose missed WrestleMania. That was already heartbreaking for him enough. He missed WrestleMania because of his injury. He was not able to recover on time to make it to WrestleMania. So for missing WrestleMania, which is like the biggest show of the year, and there's like four major events of the year, the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series. And now they claim that Money in the Bank is like the fifth, but it's always been the big four pay-per-views. So for him to miss the Royal Rumble, miss WrestleMania, and now SummerSlam is the third biggest pay-per-view of the year. And now he comes back right on the right on the target of SummerSlam, although not actually being in the match, but just siding in the corner of Seth. You gotta hope, you gotta you gotta give it to the man. I mean, like I said, the man's been fighting through injury, and it's nice to see him back. Back in business, a lot of people are saying that he should turn heel, but you will see what they do with him. I mean, like I said, from the way he looks, I think he could be very intimidating. I think he could really, really intimidate, uh, you know, the crap out of people. I mean, the way he came out, it just looked insane. And I really like the way that they, they had him come out. I mean, they didn't even make it like... Nowhere in the show was it any talk about Dean Ambrose. That's what makes a surprise return good because you, we've seen some surprise, some surprise returns where they where they'll like mention the person or they'll actually mention them before they come out and like ruin the whole thing. But the fact that there was no mention or commentary about Dean Ambrose the whole night, the only mentioning there was was Seth being late for his uh, flight due to some traveling issues. The fact that there was no mentioning of Dean is what made this return memorable because a lot of times, because some, some, cause some, let's be honest, some surprise returns, they've messed up because they'll actually show like vignettes of that person coming back or the com commentators themselves will mention it or they'll have like someone announce it. But the fact that this return was not like commentated the whole night and they didn't show any vignettes of Dean Edwards coming back is what I like about this return. Because the only hint that we really got that Dean Ambrose was going to come back was at the minute that Seth mentioned about how the contract stated. Because I knew that the minute the contract they had was stating that Dean could have somebody on his corner, it would probably most likely be Dean Ambrose because it was nowhere it's going to be Roman Reigns. So Roman Reigns already dealing with Brock Lesnar. So the moment that happened, I kind of had a feeling Dean was going to come out. But as soon as he said about a lunatic, I was like, oh yeah, it's Dean. And I got hyped because, like I said, I loved, I was a big fan of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, of course, I mean, at the time, I wanted to see them lose, but they really did have some great matches. And when they got back together last year, although it didn't last long because Dean got hurt, with the little time they had, I would say they had some, I would say it worked out 
for the better for the most part, especially Dean and Seth. They got the they got the better of the stick anyway because they had some great matches with Seth, with uh, Cesaro and Sheamus at uh, at SummerSlam and Hell in a Cell for that matter. So obviously they got the better of the stick. But um, yeah, man, I really hands down this is a surprising night. Two crazy you know crazy things happen first in the NFL night or like I said passes away uh, rest in peace to him um condolences go to the family especially his brother-in-law Brett Dan Matt Hart I can only imagine what he's feeling after already losing his brother years ago actually the year I was born he lost his brother in 1999 uh, and you know losing his other brother-in-law Davey Boy Smith and now losing Daniel and Matt Hart I know the pain I can only imagine the pain this man must be feeling right now. So I really got to give my hats out. Also, Brett Day, man, Hart, one of the greatest of all times, a true legend. So it's your Diego Nyhart, um, the Hart Foundation. And who could ever forget um, their, their, uh, the mouth from the South, uh, Jimmy, what's his name, Jimmy Hart, yeah. the man who actually came out with them all the time speaking on the microphone yeah that's his name so we had that moment and he had the Evans come out and surprised the heck out of everybody that was amazing like I said the man's a grandson champion former WWE champion former United States champion former tag team champion at this point winning tag team gold with Seth Rollins an incredible match last year at SummerSlam against Cesaro and Sheamus they also had a great match at Hell in a Cell, which is actually the feminist famous match where uh, Cesaro's tooth actually came, like he actually uh, nearly lost some teeth, or his teeth like shoved up into his mouth, where he had to get surgery for it. When uh, when Dean did a move, he actually like grabbed him and slung him to into the ring rooms. Who could ever get when that happened? But the match got even better after that happened. But, you know, like I said, Dean got hurt last year in a six man tag match, which I, be which I believe was uh, Samoa Joe, Cesaro, and Sheamus against the Shield. And, Sha and um, Samoa Joe was actually the one who injured him when he went for his arm, when he went for his move. It's, uh, when he went for like his uh, high flying move and landed on Dean's elbow, Dean hit into the apron, into like the uh, four, and that was it for him. But um, I know I'm not really speaking on that, thing, but like I said, you know, nice to see him return. Glad that he's back. Hope they do something great with him. Don't have him lost in the shuffle. Like they, like they pretty much had a lot of people that come back. From, from either injuries or just returning in general. You know, some, a lot of them, they're not really doing anything with. And I hope Dean is not one of those guys that becomes like a Bobby Lashley where they just don't know what to do with him at this point because they really don't know what to do with Bobby Lashley at this point. So hopefully this actually leads to something for Dean. If he does turn heel, then, you know, maybe it's, you know, maybe that's what's best for him at this point. He's got the look to be intimidated to be a heel. I mean, the type of look he has would be the perfect look to be a heel. But at the same time, if they want to keep him baby and keep it look like that, then uh, I'm all for it. But let's see what they do with him. Um, especially at SummerSlam, maybe he might turn on Seth, maybe he won't. We'll see. But, um, but uh, you know... Hey, maybe he could blame Seth for his injury, even though Seth wasn't even on the injury. But like I said, you know, that's what I want to do here, guys. I told you that there will be a wrestling video coming. I will do another wrestling video soon because I'm limiting down on the Hangout video stuff for quite a while. And today just happened to be the perfect time to do that because something really great happened today. And it really made me want to do a wrestling video because... After seeing Dean Ambrose come out, I could not help myself from doing this video today. So that's all I've been.
that's all I had to do to, uh, today, guys. I'm going to wrap this video up right now because I'm not trying to make this video as long as my hangout videos have been where that's like extremely long and none of you people really view it or anything like that. Uh, but you can still check it out whenever. But um, sign it off, Raymaster Flex. Like I said, my condolences goes out to Jenny Ever of Nightheart to start off. And also, I'm glad that Dean Ambrose has returned. Uh, sign off, Ray Master Flex. Remember to respect the unexpected on this channel. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.